Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be doing a tutorial video on how to convert or transform this Chanel beauty pouch into a crossbody or a shoulder bag. So we guys all know that this is a cosmetic pouch that were included on a Chanel uh, beauty set when you made that purchase. And this tutorial video is just, um, I just wanted to share it and how I transformed this and how I uh, attach a strap in here. I know that this is a cosmetic pouch or a toiletry pouch. So you've got that option if you wanted to use it exclusively for as a toiletry or if you wanted to use it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag, you got that option as well. So it's all up to you guys. I just wanted to make that clear that attaching a chain on a cosmetic pouch may not be everybody's cup of tea, but yeah, I just did, did this for fun though. I really like decorating this pouch and I also like to see this one on my shelves sitting right there. And I think they are pretty. So anyway, this is the a uh, pouch that came out this year so this is in this beautiful festive um red color and it has a hint of black and a little bit of like a shimmer gold shimmer in it it is so beautiful and also we have the other colors well this is the color grayish and it is the color between the beige and gray color and I think this is my favorite among the two. So let's take a look at inside. So this one has a red interior and the other one, the grayish that we have has a white interior. So that is the difference between the two. So now let me show you the items that we needed to transform this beauty into a cross body bag or a shoulder bag. So here are the things that I needed, that we needed. So first we have a screw driver. So this tutorial wouldn't be complete without the screw driver. So this is actually what I am using right here just in case if you are interested of this specific uh, screwdriver that i used so okay this is the first item second we have this is a rotating hole punch so we needed this to punch into the side of the pouch okay so this one has several settings right here. So this one would actually punch a hole through, through the pouch in here. And you have several settings. We have like two millimeter, four, 4.5 or four. So all you have to do is actually choose which one uh, that would work on the screw head that we have. So this is the second uh, thing that we're going to use. And then last but not the least, we have the screw head right here. And then this is the attachment to it. This one actually, this one would swivel though, right here. So all the items that I have right here, I purchased this through Amazon. So I will be putting down the links the link below if you are interested on, on getting the exact um, materials that I used, okay? So, and also we needed the pouch. It is the most important thing. So right now, so before I go ahead and attach this screw on uh, on the pouch let me just uh i just want to let you know guys that do this stuff do it at your own risk okay so if you wanted to convert your pouch into a crossbody or 
a shoulder bag you could do that if you if you don't want it to do it then it's all up to you okay and also um i hate comparing things and you know guys let's just not compare this chanel uh beauty pouch right here to the real chanel bag okay this one is made up of tweed it is actually free item that when you purchase a beauty set and you know let's not compare it to the real chanel cosmetic pouch that is made up of caviar leather lambskin you know they are two different materials and you you cannot really compare it okay i just want to make that one clear and also the first thing i've noticed when i purchased this pouch is like there is no a uh, tab attach on the pouch i don't know the reason why they did not attach those because in the previous years as you guys have noticed there is a loop right here where you got that option and also all those three that i have they have those loop where you could attach a d-ring but this year there is none at all so that's why i will be doing this uh tutorial video so that it'll give you a little bit of an idea on how i did it myself okay so anyway let me show you okay right here i have already done one so as you guys can see right there i was able to attach this um this attachment right here and it seems like it is pretty sturdy though and i was so happy that i was able to successfully attach this without any issues without any problems and i was able to attach it in less than a minute like really it is so easy to attach it and the thing i did is open the pouch and look at the corners right here where the zip where the zipper is at and as you guys could see this one right here it looks like a bone from the pouch so this one is actually showing like a bone of the pouch and this was the entire fabric of the pouch so my idea is actually put a hole right where the bone is to uh, create a sturdy foundation of the screw right here i was really trying to target that but it is so close to the zipper outside and i have to be careful not to you know not not to be so close to the zipper so that's what i did and then that's what i i put the hole right there right here it's in between the bone and the body of the pouch right there so that's what i did i so i tried to measure it in both corners by using the screw head okay so what i did is actually try to put this one right here right there so this one is made up of tweed so they are quite flexible so i did that and i put a little bit of a marker in it and also i did it the same thing on the other side so i will be able to know which um side that i am going to punch a hole okay so after that i took the punch right here so what i did on this is i tried to measure the screw head towards this rotating hole punch in here so i was able to measure that so this one is too um, too loose it's too big right here so i used the two millimeter right here it's a two millimeter i think it's perfect though the two millimeter is perfect it's not too tight i want something a little bit tighter though so i think this is the perfect size for it so i will be using the two millimeter to punch a hole on the pouch so that's what i did and then after that you're going to finish it 
with using your screwdriver and I'm not sure what type of uh, slot this is right here I'm not sure but I know that this one is like perfect so you needed the screwdriver to tighten it up like that and then okay so now that you already have created a hole where you're going to punch it so what you're going to do is place right here place the puncher on the marker that you created like this okay so like that let me show you up close like that and then punch it press it harder so that's what i did in mine and then you will be able to see a hole inside just like that i only did it once don't overdo it don't do it twice just make it sure when you punch it punch it harder okay because you don't really want to create a, a bigger hole in there because you know i just like you wanted to create a strong foundation on this side you don't want it to be wobbly you don't want it to be too like this one that i did right here it's just perfect it is really tight and that's what what you wanted to do so after that yeah you'll be able to see because yeah you'll see the remnants from the hole that you punch towards here and then that's it that's it for punching a hole on the side so then again it's like oh it may not be strong enough to hold when you put stuff in here but then I, I mean but then again with this items that I got right here at the back I did actually sew this double the stitch on this corner so that when I go out or if I wanted to use it as a shoulder bag you know I'm not going to have that issues with uh, this would not going to rip because eventually, you know, if you put some stuff in here, it will create some pressure. It will definitely rip in time. So if you don't want this to when you go out and, you know, it might rip somehow because you, you stuff it. So I did restitch this corner. That's why it was still holding up nicely until this point of time. But in this matter, in this case, um yeah like i've mentioned do it at your own risk if you wanted to transform it this way uh that's fine and if you have a better way of doing it then that would be perfect as well but this is i am just sharing you of how i transform it myself okay so now that we have created a hole right here it's time for us to put the screwdriver in here so what I did is actually put this screw inside towards the hole right here now and then press harder as hard as you can okay so you were able to see that right there okay so I like that it is tight though I really like the fact that it's tight and now we are going to put this one right here, the other side. And you could just literally just turn this swivel right here like that. Yeah, you could literally just turn it to tighten up a little bit. See, it's already tightening right there it's already tightened but in my case i wanted to be so tight that yeah like what i did on this one on the other side so now that we have this one in place right here okay so let's see so now it is in place right here this one is really tight i did that one and now let's try to use the screwdriver inside towards the screw head right here i put it in a slot on this corner i wish that my okay so we are going to tighten this up 
like this. So I hope that I have better lighting so I was able to so you have to tighten this as tight as you could. I mean, for me, that's what I, I did on my part. Okay, now that's really tight now. Okay, so that's it. You have attached, wow, the deering on the pouch. And it is ready. Um, and you can you okay let me just close this one with, okay okay now it is ready to attach the straps okay let me just show you this side right here this side is yeah it is really tight and this part right here where you attach the deering is this would swivel right here and it is so easy it's easy as that if you have all the tools that you needed the materials that you needed that it would be so easy to attach all this stuff right here so let's take a look at inside let me just show you the inside how it looks it looks perfectly fine it looks cleaner just like that and now let's try to attach some of I mean, you could use any straps though. You know, you could use whatever strap that you have at home, you could use it. So right now, let me just attach. This one has a gold logo, uh, logo, lo gold foil logo right here. And it has a gold, a muted gold zipper. And then we put this gold, I think it complements well. So if you would put a silver chain or a gold chain, it looks good as well but let me just try this because I really like this chain right here and just like that yeah so this is really cute with that so it's not necessary that you have to use a cross I uh, use it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody you can just attach a chain in it and use this as a clutch so if you're too worried about the weight, it gets too heavy that you might rip the corner, but I don't think so. So let me just show you. Yeah, so that's how it looks completely. And let me show you the silver strap that I have in here. So this one is the longer version. If you, this is the longer version. And I also have the shoulder bag version of it or oh, this is just like an embellishment but I think this one also looks good with with this silver right here and also guys um when I got this um deering on the website at the Amazon they also came in with silver so I have already placed an order for that. I think it get, it'll get here tomorrow. So if you wanted to use the silver deering, you could also use that one as well. But I only have this one available right now. So that's why I will be using the one that I already have, but it doesn't matter. That's because this one has a hint of, of gold in it. So let me just show you okay so this is how it looks with the silver hardware strap in it okay so this is how it looks i look i think it looks good if you just let it hang just like that and this one it would look definitely look good if you already put something inside and let me just take this one out and try to use if you wanted to use the pearl the pearl also looks good as well right there yeah it actually um when i want to wear this to go out for dinner or if you want to wear it for clubbing um sometimes you just wanted to put your your purse in your shoulder like you know it's just perfect when you're going out dancing and stuff clubbing that you're hands free so i think this one is 
a perfect attachment so I think with this one it looks good but if you think that you have a chain that has a little bit shorter you could purchase one of these and then you could attach the ring this is actually round so you could attach that to extend the length of it so but right now this one is actually looking pretty yeah so you guys have all the options you could do whatever you want with this beautiful pouch right here you wanted to use it as a crossbody if you wanted to use it as a shoulder bags it's all up to you if you just wanted to use it exclusively for a cosmetic pouch you know that's your prerogative it's you could do whatever you want with it and also you could use this gold chain in here as well uh, if you have something from Felicity Pochette and also this is from coach strap you could use this one as well I also have a clear acrylic uh, strap in here this would work as well last year I think this is the pouch that I did a transformation with so this one this one actually looks good I didn't see any wear in here um, this one is actually placed nicely beautifully I used this as a crossbody though and I think it looks great with this one it looks great and I didn't see any wear at all it, it's sturdy so I think with this type of um, attachment I think this is so much better compared to the previous ones see I think let me just get the other one because this one actually has the deering I think in comparison with the la with uh, the one that I did last year I think this one is by far more sturdy than this one this one is a little loose so I couldn't really find a deering that perfectly fits on this so this one is like yeah it is sturdy and also the material the tweed that they use this year is I would say it is thick and durable I, I, I should say so like right now you cannot really move this it is sturdy and it stays in place so like compared to this one see it's moving right there but this one it's so sturdy right here on the other side as well so yeah um i will probably gonna do an update video on when i started using this regarding the wear and tear and well so far looking at it right now I don't think it would rip though if you yeah I, I, I don't think so but right now it is looking pretty good it is sturdy it's not moving or whatsoever so it, aside from this swivel this one would swivel though so yeah so anyway this is how I convert this beautiful cosmetic pouch from Chanel so anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.